Hello beauties, my name is Eva and this is the last video before New Year. So this is the last tutorial in 2019 and of course I have for you New Year's Eve makeup. This will be smoky, true smoky. I'm going to use today Conspiracy Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and also blood sugar palette and also i have here holographic pink glitter so i'm going to use black eyeshadow some pinks but matte ones and this glitter and of course later highlighter and etc 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 all you need is black matte shades in your color that you will choose and glitter in the same color but of course you can choose what you like as always this won't be hard makeup so only things you need besides makeup things and brushes is big smile and maybe a little bit patient because we're going to play with black i hope you're ready so i'm going to zoom you in and let's start. I'm starting as always with setting my underbrow area, but this time with no matte base shade. I'm taking shade Glucose from Blood Sugar, of course. But if this shade is too light for you, of course you can use matte base shade. Now I'm taking my rights here from Conspiracy Palette. And remember that with black it's better to apply less than more. So applying this black in my outer corner, I'm just packing this shade and with tapping, I'm spreading this shade and a little bit blending in the same time. Now I'm taking clean fluffy brush and I'm blending this black. I'm going to do winged shape. But of course, shape is up to you. So you do what works for you. Of course, this black is a little bit fading, but that's actually good because we want a very flawless blend, not patchiness and... Well, we don't want to look like a panda or like a raccoon. Choose your favorite animal. And I'm adding more, of course, still in my outer corner. I'm doing the same. So I'm starting from my outer corner. I'm spreading this shade a little bit up, but of course not too high. And now go back to this blending brush. I'm doing a little circles so it will cost you a little bit patient and time but it's worth it and again adding blending adding and blending again just take your time don't rush the process you can of course blend this shade down here on your lower eyelid because we're going to do this anyway so you can do this now I'm adding more now also a little bit on my, on my lower eyelid of course outer corner and still blending one eternity later and I am back, I did my other eye. Of course, a little fallout is normal, that's why I'm doing my eyes first and then my face. I hope you chose your second color because black is the first one. I've chosen pink, just take some dark, medium and light shade of your color. I have here some dark, medium and light pink. Of course, matte ones. And let's start adding some colors to this blackness. <laughs> I'm taking shade Cavity from Blood Sugar. And this shade, ah, so vibrant. Mm. 
and this shade I'm applying on the middle of my eyelid and a little bit on this black but not so much also I'm going up I'm tapping because I want this pink to blend already with this black of course you don't need to have this black here if you blend this black only here that's also fine this pink don't want to blend with this black that's actually not good I'm not happy with it it really don't want to blend with this black but that's okay I'm going to figure it out in the moment but now I'm going to apply this shade also on my lower eyelid I'm going back to my brush that I used to apply black I of course don't have much more product on this brush and I'm blending with tapping a little bit what I have here this is very naughty pink or naughty black because this black actually don't want to blend with this pink so I'm not sure this is this pink fold or this black fold in this case I'm going to try with different pink well well maybe more now it's pink I'm taking oh, bubble gum from mini breaker oh, it's very light very light no 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 this is this black this is fault of this black hmm I'm thinking how to rescue it well I'm not happy but I'll try to apply here a little bit of my base of course you don't need to you just see what happened here so Okay, let's check. First, let's add this pink. Okay, and this black again. Okay, it's not bad, but I have a lot of fallout now and I'm not happy. Oh, well, situations like this just happen, but in this case, I really need to use some transition shade here. So I'm taking shade My Pills. And I'm blending this black here. I will add also a little bit glucose here. Fails just like to happen. I could just cut it and not, not show you. But why should I? This is normal things. Things just happen. And this is actually a good lesson. Things just like to happen. So instead of panicking or crying, just take what you have and try to, you know, stand up, do something with it. Maybe it won't be the same, but it won't be something new. It doesn't mean worse. So I think crisis is over, so I'm taking pigment from Conspiracy, of course. And this shade I'm applying here in my inner corner. And actually, I very like what we have here. I guess without the failure, we won't have such a great purple here. I didn't plan that, but actually it looks neat. So as you can see, without this fail, <laughs> this makeup is pretty easy. It's just blending and now it's fun because I'm going to take my glitter glue and let's play with some glitter. I'm taking some glitter glue on my finger and I'm taking very big brush and I'm taking this glitter glue on this brush and all over this place, but not on black. But the thing is, because this glitter primer is sticky, because it has to be, so tap once and don't tap twice in the same area because you're going to lose some pigment. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now the glitter. It's actually 
actually okay. I could add here more glitter primer. Hmm. Should I? Now it's full of glitter. More glitter it can be, I guess. Okay, the thing is I used a lot of glitter, but if you will use less, then you will have visible all these colors that I have on my lower eyelid. So it's actually also very pretty because you will have this gorgeous blend and only touch of this uh, glitter. I just wanted to go full glitter and full glam. <laughs> Should I just say that I have heavy hand? Because I literally use it a little bit too much, but still it looks good. So, oh, by the way, meanwhile, I try to remove all this glitter fallout but let's be honest our grandchildren will find this glitter still so this is glitter you can't actually <sighs> get rid of it i think i'm pretty satisfied with what i have here so now i'm taking from brain freeze palette shade frozen fruit I'm applying it in my inner corner as my highlighter but also I'm adding to this from Platinum Ice palette shade Pink Chill and I'm also adding these two shades under my brow of course I'm going to use these two highlighters also on my face but let's not get ahead of what we have here <laughs> because now i'm going to apply on my waterline this pink this is a lip liner <laughs> and now i'm going to apply some lashes and of course i'll be right back and we are going to do face i'm back i skipped contouring because this is evening makeup so contouring just has to be very obvious, very heavy, because this is heavy makeup, this is evening makeup, this is makeup with glitter. So of course, countering has to be very obvious, very heavy and just visible. And of course, detail, but very important. Don't forget about your nose. You don't need to counter it, but at least apply some bronzer on it, because otherwise it won't match to your bronzed face <laughs> now i'm going to apply some blush of course a lot because blush is also part of contouring well a lot not a lot a lot just more than usual and a little bit on my nose Mm. Nice! Now let's go to highlighters. I will start with Brain Freeze palette and I'm taking shade Frozen Fruit and because this shade will be visible on me so I will apply it a little bit lower to a little bit um, mix it with my blush. A little bit here and here and here and now I'm taking Platinum Ice Palette and I'm going to use shade Pink Chill and this shade I will apply it here where my highlighter should be so higher than this frozen fruit this way also I'm going to add totally different dimension to my highlighter game And now powdery part is over, so mascara, lower lashes. Brow gel mascara. Now the lips and let's start with nude and soft option.
Or we can go out from this nude comfort zone and go crazy. Not without any fail, but we have it. As I said, I didn't want to cut this material when I failed, because it wasn't my fault. And even if it would be my fault, why should I cut it? I mean, this is life and things just happen. We have it and remember that sometimes effect is the most important not the journey and how you achieve this effect. The final product is the most important thing. So yes, there was a little fail here, but at least this was the last fail in 2019. <laughs> I believe this is fault of this black. That's why it's good to test palette more and use some shades more than once because this shade, this black shade from Conspiracy Palette worked great with uh, green ones but those green ones was shimmers and this pink is matte so I don't know maybe with this black from Alien Palette it would be okay I'm not sure it is what it is. Now I have a little info for you. I publish new video every three days, so new video should be this Thursday. But unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to record for you. So unfortunately, there won't be any video this Thursday. But don't worry, I'm going to see you this Sunday. And my next video will be my favorite makeup products 2019, but not only new things from 2019, but in general products that I like and that I used in this whole year. So I'm going to talk about a lot of good stuff <laughs> and of course no without swatches so I hope this will be interesting and entertaining video. <laughs> so because this is the last video before New Year I want to wish you to have just a great time whatever you're going to do. If you're going to watch movie, play video games, maybe sleep, have a good sleep. If you're going to have some party, have a great time. And of course, as always, I love you very, very much. Happy New Year. And I see you on Sunday. Bye.